My name is Kaveh Mehrabi, a former professional badminton player from Iran. Um, I'm a champion for peace for peace and sport organization. Uh, and I have decided to do my first Ironman for a sport project for the children in Haiti to raise money and awareness for this project. Uh, yeah, and we are only a few weeks to go to the Ironman in Nice and I feel quite good physically. I've had some challenges, but uh, feeling ready and very motivated mentally as well. The reason I decided to do the Ironman is because um, I had always been amazed with the fitness level of the three athletes and I just thought that uh, it would be an amazing experience to try it myself and now since I'm leaving Nice as well and with this beautiful uh, nature I thought it would be an amazing experience but then at the same time it is also uh, a real big challenge for me because I'm actually quite afraid of open water so I thought it would be exciting to push myself to the limit and I think that's, that's what is Ironman about, that it really put everybody to their absolute limit and, and really challenged them mentally and physically and I found that very interesting. During this whole year I had to adjust a lot of uh, things in my personal life, in my private life uh, because uh, yeah, Ironman takes all the time that I had uh, beside the full-time job that I have and of course I, I have a family and we are waiting for our first baby so there was a lot of uh, planning a lot of uh, early morning waking up uh, to go to do some running and biking uh, or coming late uh, after a late swimming in the pool um, but that again has taught me a lot and uh, I really enjoy the process um, the biggest challenge I had, uh, it was my old injury from my badminton career that they were coming back and I always had to adjust to these new things. Um, even sometimes it really made me question if I can do it or not. I never thought about quitting, but I was always uh, had that in my mind and I think that's kind of normal for anybody who's trying to do their first Ironman or even first marathon, that they will question themselves if they can do it or not. Uh, but I actually think that's a good thing because it will keep pushing you to train and it will keep you motivated. Hello Kave, you must be preparing hard for your triathlon. I uh, would like to tell you that the whole team of Solibad is together with you. Uh, we hope you will be doing well. Uh, we hope that everyone will be helping to raise uh, money for this project that we believe is a, an amazing project in Haiti. We were together in this project since the very start at Solibad. So we uh, wish you uh, good luck for the run and, and for the project. Bye. For our project in Haiti, uh, throughout this whole year, we have been communicating with, uh, with the youth center that we are working with from Peace and Sport uh, in Haiti and are actually aware of the, uh, this whole project that we are trying to raise more money for them. Uh, because actually for every 2,500 euro that I will manage to raise, uh, through this project, we will be able to give uh, sport to 150 children in Haiti for one year. So it's actually not a lot of money to change the life for a lot of children. I really hope that uh, people will continue to support it and uh, give uh, small donations or big donation, donations. The, anything will make a difference. Um, and during the last few weeks, uh, I will have a few uh, tough training, but generally I will try to, of course, uh, calm down in terms of the intensity to start gaining some power for the day. But uh, most importantly, please remember that I'm doing this challenge to raise awareness, to raise funds for the children in Haiti for the sport project. Sport has changed my life. It has taught me and it has given me everything I have in my life. And I want to do the same for the, for the children who don't have so much in, in their life. So please get behind the project, click on the, the website you will see under the clip and uh, even make a small donations. It will be grateful. Thank you. Kave, I know it's your uh, first Ironman coming uh, very soon. Uh, I know it's also a really personal challenge for you, not only because it's a very difficult event, as everybody knows, it will take a lot of time, a lot of efforts, and uh, really congratulations for that. But I know you have also the challenge uh, of the deep water at the beginning. So I hope everything will be uh, okay for you. And uh, I would like to again uh, thank you for all you do for Peace and Sport. And uh, 
And also I know that you want to do that for IT uh, in order to give the chance to the youth there, people who had not so much chance in life to, uh, to meet sport and to become uh, someone through sport, to the rule of sport and so on. So I wish you the best uh, in your competition and uh, it's a little surprise that I wanted to give to you with some uh, of the people here in the team and we wish you the best for this uh, event so that you are successful at the end personally and so you can uh, generate some funds for the, the program in IT. Thank you very much.